Andrew from Hampco invites us into a client's home where they're replacing a furnace and relocating it about five feet away. It's quite interesting. Stay tuned. Andrew, thank you for inviting us into one of your client's home. There's so much stuff happening here. Yes. And, and you know, it's overwhelming when I walk in. I, I wouldn't know what's going on here. So explain to me what's happening. Okay, this is a situation where the client wanted to relocate their existing furnace. And okay. we've also been involved with converting a 1989 furnace to a 2014 model. So the actual furnace sat about five feet away from us mm -hmm. and now has been relocated here. So that involved us disconnecting some of the heat pipes off the old system, removing the old plenum which is basically this section over here, mm -hmm. and then basically extending the warm air and return air ducts to our new location here, dropping them down, and then rerunning the gas, rerunning the electrical, and then basically venting the new furnace just above my head here. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So this is, this is day two. Okay. So the old and, furnace and, every, is, and it's already been shifted over. It's already been shifted over. The client did have heat last night, so we were able to leave it operational. Okay. Uh, so he had some heat because it was cold, mm -hmm. and now we are in the process of basically just doing the final hookups and extending everything. We also are doing an air conditioner with the job as well. Oh, so there's a, there's a lot happening here. So there's a this, lot happening here. Um, you wouldn't assume that in the middle of winter that this is something that we could do. I mean, what's the what's the timeline for something like this? Because not only are you relocating a furnace, but you're adding an air conditioner. And sure. Yeah. They, they vary in length. Some jobs like this, usually this is a multi-day job. We have a few more crew members on the job to complete it a little quicker. Mm -hmm. But we're talking to have this done by today. Uh, but usually a day like this, definitely a two to three day job easily. When is the best time to call you to come in if we, we need to replace our furnace or relocate the furnace? Should I do all my renovations first and then call you in and say, okay, this is what I need done? No, please don't do that. What I'd recommend you do is if you're in the midst of a scenario of gutting the home, opening it up, that's really the time for us to get in there. We can look at the bones of the whole system. Okay. And if we find a couple heat runs that are not connected, uh, maybe turned off, you want to have uh, in the system rezoned or balanced, that's the time for us to see it because we can actually visually see everything. And at that point, we can make a very fair evaluation of where the best spot is to mm -hmm. place the unit and uh, you know meet the client's demands. One thing that I found very interesting when we first walked in and you took me on a tour was the, the vents in the ceiling. Yes. And you said sometimes people don't even realize that they have vents there because they've just put the ceiling on top of yeah. or over it. Yeah. We've had some runs where you'll see a register above your head and in fact the pipe that feeds it is not connected to anything or there's a damper inside that's actually been closed off. Mm -hmm. And as a result, you'll visually have the appearance of a register but in fact nothing is coming out. So a lot of interesting things that could be happening. Sure. Oh, exactly. Ceiling. If somebody is interested in replacing their furnace or you know, having to relocate it because, as you said, now's the time to do it, That's where right. do they find the information? Best is to contact us, hamco.ca, or call us at 905-527-1049. Have one of our estimators come out, take a look around, and kind of address your needs. Okay, well, thank you very much for inviting us into their home today. You're very welcome. Thanks, Tracy.